Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are with Aditya Togi ji and Santeep ji, and we had discussed in part one about nakshatras and different aspects, different types of nakshatras and their classifications. And in part two, we discussed remedies for getting a job or getting married or activating certain houses using certain nakshatras and animals. And now it's part three. Time some quick remedies. So please take over. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Aditya, what uh, quick remedy is for Ashwini Nakshatra? Any quick that you recommend? Ashwini Nakshatra for quick remedy, it comes in my mind some donation to some hospitals, you know, <laughs> like quick right. remedy hospitals. Right. Eye care because I and ear are connected to Ashwini, so that's right. one of helping helping with that. Yeah. So one more three three remedies from you, three remedies from me. <laughs> Oh, three remedies. <laughs> yeah. Of course, certain things with houses, uh, horses, not houses, horses. horses. <laughs> yeah. So, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll pick. I'll say like uh, buy some horse. Keep that as a decorative item. That is one Ashwini remedy. Buy uh, a horse. Ashwini. Yeah, buy a small horse. pair of horses. Not one Ashwini oh. Kumar, right? So Swedish. Uh. That is one thing. That in that particular direction. Uh, Second thing is like uh, doing Surya Namaskar. It's a very quick remedy for Ashwini uh, because sun is exalted in Ashwini. Third thing I would say is like uh, not to learn patience, you know, uh, not to be uh, uh, quick because you're too quick. Ashwini people are too quick. Too quick. If they learn patience, then they can conquer anything. Please from Ashwini. Now, uh, thing, look at yeah. the nakshatra man in the sky yeah. that is for all, all remedies for all yeah, yeah. we forgot that we forgot that the biggest thing i think the biggest remedy was to uh, Aditya, why don't you go ahead with that I will say, uh, as of course as an astronomer i will always ask them to look above the sky <laughs> like for any nature <laughs> <laughs> just look above the sky <laughs> for example now here it was like i was thinking for example if you really want to say you want to activate palguni for example purva palguni uttara palguni I think meditating on some on a day when the full moon is in Uttara Falguni or Pura Falguni, that can be very strong. Now, you will get only one day in a year when the moon comes in, uh, Pura, full moon comes in Pura Falguni. That is the month of March or Holi. Holi is the time where full moon is in Uttara Falguni or Pura Falguni. So that one day, that one night will be very special to activate for full uh, Pura Falguni or Uttara Falguni. For example, right now, I think we are in what month right now? We are in uh, Magh yeah. month. Yeah. So now the full moon will be occurring in Magha or Pushya Nakshatra. Yes. So this is a great time for to activate that Magha and Pushya Nakshatra. Pushya is already yeah. gone, I guess, now. And gone, now, I guess. Yeah. Now it will Magha. be over. Yes. Magha. So that can be a thing. And you will get only once in a year. This is just one, one time in a year. Yes. So that's it. Yeah. So... Now, when I say, uh, because each month, you know, when, when, when I say Chitra month, in Hindu, we have Chaitra, Vaishak, Jayesh, Tasha, because it's all given by, according to the names of nakshatras. When the full moon is in Chitra nakshatra, it is Chaitra uh, month. So in Chaitra month, you will get uh, the full moon in Chitra nakshatra. So remedies for Chitra nakshatra. Because full moon is very important, meditation and all, that's why. And that's once in a year only you will get. So that becomes a special day. Yeah. So that can be uh, again monthly. Uh, what about that uh, constellation pictures and uh, looking up at the sky? Constellation pictures, yes. Constellation pictures, star of star pictures, <laughs> of course. So that is also one of the remedy. And I would like to say uh, at least uh, just take a look, meditating on that open night, just above your, your head that nakshatra is, what else you need. And that's why I always give that remedy. And of course, you can draw pictures of constellations and the constellations of the nakshatras also can be. Like Sandeep Ji was mentioning about drawing pictures, but drawing nakshatras itself, uh, the shape of that constellation itself can be a thing or can be a, uh, what is a remedy <laughs> for that particular nakshatra. Yeah. Exactly that. Um, yeah, I think that's a big uh, in terms of actually having a Pick for constellation. So, say your Aries have a picture of Aries constellation with me. Uh, have it as a zodiac sign. Say you, within that you only need Barney. Have a picture of that Barney triangle, you know, the Barney thing. That itself can activate Barney for you. It's a very simple thing that actually works also. Uh, just like you can draw it yourself, you can take a picture of it also. That also works. Looking into it in the sky is the easiest way to get connected with that energy, meditating upon that. You know, that is available, like Aditya was saying. Um, that's a great thing, you know. That's what I would say. Uh, what are the remedies on Barney? 
Barney Barney is basically Yama. <laughs> so so you know, they do some death maybe uh, take away things correct so i will say uh, yeah. uh, visiting to a place where barney's acting or we are not mentioned about this land places right right uh, some kali temple or something like that kali can be temple, yeah. Yeah. river they say river 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 bed or something like sundarbans basically is the one of the best right. delta formation right. delta is again right. delta form is i am thinking delta airlines some connection right, right, right. delta maybe could be a yeah. 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 For me, I would say like uh, Delta, Egypt, Kali Temple. I will say drawing triangles even. Helping pregnant women. That's yeah. ask quickly. That's one thing I would say for me. Yeah. Uh, Kritika. What about Kritika? Kritika is fire ritual. Agni, Romam. Yeah. Why fire ritual, Romam? Easy. Yeah. Ghee. Ghee is another, I think, correct with Agni. Uh, that's one thing. Yeah. So, that too and uh, scissors cutting because i was just thinking yeah. about symbol in what yeah yeah so cutting so be. like uh, cutting like i think uh, uh, cutting cutting a vegetable bharadram mentioned that cutting a vegetable one just cutting one vegetable that can activate kritika or in nakshatra opposite to that i think with kritika i'll also add um, you know uh, uh, this thing um, keeping a scissor or keeping a knife with you <laughs> keeping a pocket knife with you or getting murgan's veil and having that uh, energized or reinventing hanuman a weapon and keep it there that's a simple thing so kritika um yeah what about uh, rohini rohini is cut symbol is cut so again rohini as you said krishna worship is krishna is associated with rohini and then cut and then beautifying things some things uh, money things can also be there right so probably more what you say beautifying things i will say to grow to right. create the gatsha shakti of that uh, rohini nakshatra right mm, something like that yeah. right beautifying things i will say because but, rohini is where uh, venus and moon is one of the moons in the nakshatra definitely krishna i would say also uh, putting some red stones there this habit of keeping red stones like red seeds in the puja room of krishna that's also associated with that in kerala they do that manjari kuru that's what we call it you know you can keep red colored seeds or red colored stones one thing i have seen is that um, with rohini again growing a plant on a rohini nakshatra day uh, that's also one more thing i have seen a uh, rohini plant uh, you can keep some money and anols and put the grow a plant under the money that's a simple way to grow money also in your life apparently that's one technique with rohini i have seen uh, another thing with rohini i would say is like um, definitely not to be jealous and jealousy you know that's one thing i would say there yeah. is to be jealous in that yeah mrika shira nakshatra i will say uh, search research teams that's i have seen with yeah. mrika shira is what deer deer is what roaming around research team right something looking for maybe researching or something that can be a very uh, and of course some ridu nakshatra so some such sari ceremonies can be done too Right. Auspicious things can be done to on a Mrigha Shira day, and of course Mrigha Shira, Mrig, Mrig means deer, something deer product. <laughs> yeah, deer head. It's a deer head. Yeah. Yeah. I will say definitely uh, essential oils, perfumes, good perfumes, natural perfumes. Yeah. I also say with Mrigha Shira, a snake and stuff. You know, Rohinian Mrigha Shira, both are snakes. So like snake, anything for snakes, positive thing for snakes. Uh, uh, yeah, and deer head, yeah, good. Google is your best friend, so clear up your Google searches. <laughs> That's what I would say. Yeah. Adra, Adra, Rudra, Shiva, Rudra Puja, Shiva Puja, Shiva Homam, Rudra Homam. All those things okay. can be there. And uh, Tom Chasers, of course, Rudra Adra is also connected with that. Some transformation, basically. So transformation okay. thing can be you can uh, use, or maybe you can get transformed, or some ideas you can implement to get transformed. Right. Other, I would say, uh, being careful with, with just who your friends are. Easy to get uh, first Rahu rule nakshatra. Easy to be get caught by by the nods of uh, you know Shiva. Shiva is also Buddha. Nod. You might be Shiva, but your friends might be Buddha. You know, so you might be Buddha, and you have to be careful. Uh, other other thing is also like uh, storms. Also butterflies are seen. Some themes of butterflies. Uh, sometimes just meditating on storms or rains and butterflies. It's one thing I've seen. And for Ardra, uh, one uh, the I mean Banaras is also very famous where you know there's this Bhasma and so many things going on in India and UP. So they may visit that also, Banaras, Varanasi. Yeah, yeah. 
lot of shiva temples ardra is just thing is also to i've seen ardra uh, shiva temple and pouring water over shivling the ardra native say you should be connecting with shiva one way or the other for using a rudraksh mala for japa it's a simple thing uh, that's a simpler thing with ardra also you find out over the what rudraksh is connected to ardra and you can use that Yeah, because Rudra is. They say that the tree, the tree Rudra came from yeah. Rudra came from the tear drops. They saw tear drops. Correct? Yeah, just some tear drops. Yeah, but then also like you know, but uh, it's very interesting question on shaman or healer was asking me, why do you need sora in with you? Why do you need to keep sora with you? <laughs> This is a question which uh, you know uh, Rudra was asking. But it's kind of interesting because uh, yeah, you just need to be aware of Rudra. I think uh, you just need to be. Uh, be wearing the correct rudrash uh, you can use a rudrash mala for japa no doubt uh, and then use a corresponding nakshatra also for rudrash specific rudrash actually recommended for specific nakshatra also. you can find that online and stuff like that yeah uh, so also i'll just say like uh, well go ahead aditya no renewal themes no aditi nurturing because aditi is the god associated god is associated with uh, punarvastu and then she is the mother of all gods so nurturing caring repeating things because repetition is another one of the important theme of punarvasu nakshatra so right. certain thing and uh, maybe repetition of wealth themes can i have seen uh, a lot yeah. in punarvasu and the classic example is donald trump basically he has got a lot of punarvasu yeah. with him so repetition of wealth theme bankrupt and again coming back again getting bankrupt and those themes are there right gunwar sir say like uh, repeating things so uh, try to try thing twice or thrice then succeed Uh, second thing is i study archery for punarvasu uh, archery can also work for ardra also because shiva hunted the third thing for punarvasu i'd say is uh, to um, to think about do using two things at the same time use two monitors use two books simply use two things and it might act thinking because of that uh, two two things twin gemini thing happening in pun uh, what about pushya aditya Pushya is cow udder, so milk products and all those things. Nourishing again, nourishing and all those things. Milk products. Pushya, Pushya, Brihaspati again. So mantra chantings. Pushya. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Brihaspati. So all related to meditation and spiritual activities can be done with Pushya too. Yeah. Meditation of pushya. some knowledge activity. Right. Right. Definitely, I would say uh, mantra. Right. Again, I will emphasize that. Uh, but this time also, if you think about rituals. So it's about rituals. What is a ritual for you? Could be that you may not be doing mantra chanting as a ritual. Or you might have a morning ritual before you go out, go out during coffee or something like that. Make some ritual for you. Think in terms of ritual that will help. Pusha again, they will consume lot of information, so they just need to review the information more. Just like how the, the goat is like eating a lot and does bring the food up again to chew. So that's one thing with pusha. Uh, pusha again, I would say like. Uh, Uh, become workaholic like Brusbadi, you know. Uh, he lost his wife, so they have to be careful that they are uh, ignoring their wife uh, because of what you know. The thing with Pushya. What about Ashlesha? Did you? Ashlesha is again Naga Sarpa's connection. So prayer to some snake gods or something like that can be a theme. Yeah. Again, Ashlesha is also connected to wealth. I have seen because Nagas, of course, Nagas and Sarpas are related to wealth. Yeah. I've seen a lot of because oh, I'm into the science field, and I've seen a lot of people with Ashlesha. They get fundings, man. <laughs> they, yeah. they get really great fundings come to them. I don't know. <laughs> they are lucky in getting funds and all. <laughs> I don't know. So that's another theme again. Well, something related to wealth. Yeah. Yeah. Nagas also have this Nag money now, which everybody wants. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So funding that certain uh, wealth association is there with Ashlesha. So I've seen that. So maybe getting a hold of Ashlesha friend to get money and to work on yeah, his research. Good, 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 that can good, be. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. I would say, uh, yeah, Ashlesha Naga for sure. Uh, she was always great. Ashlesha, uh, I would say, like uh, learning to channelize their anger energy is very important. Learning more control their anger energy of Mars, you know, uh, very important for Ashlesha. Uh, third thing I would say is like donating for snake centuries or anything snake, you know, that's a great thing for Ashlesha again. Okay? um yeah with ashlesha yeah ashlesha has a lot of uh, blessings there if you learn to transmute the poison into a uh, medicine that's a big blessing there with uh, ashlesha so they have to go through tough experiences so that they can finally share it you know so that no one else will have the same experience which they went through is a thing with ashlesha uh, what about uh, maga maga is pitris 
So ancestors, remembering our ancestors, yeah. our ancestors, and all those things can be done. And out of body experiences also is associated with the magha. They say correct. Yeah. So that can be another thing too. So basically, I will say mostly connected with your ancestors and forefathers. Yeah. And of course, royal throne, royal chair. Right. Because royal chair. Of uh, magha. Royal chair. Right. Yeah, make make sure, chair. make sure the seat where you are sitting is like good. It's not broken or something like that. That also right, exactly. Yeah, definitely. If it breaks, uh, don't keep any broken furniture in your home. That's a big maga thing. Okay. No broken uh, furniture at all. No broken chair. No broken table. Maga is connected with furniture also. Honoring your ancestors. Keep picture of uh, have something which your ancestors wore, like a jewelry or something. Keep your grandfather's or father's watch or something like that. You know, what father's whatever. You know, grandfather's jewelry or uh, something like that. Or grandmother's pen or something like that. That has been passed down. Something like that. Can't just do. Consistors, I've seen that. Uh, yeah, that's maga for sure. Yeah. You said maga uh, is linked to furnitures also, right? Yeah, all uh, maga, Leo and Aquarius, Chitras are connected connected with furnitures. Okay. Uh, because of uh, you know, I would say Pura Badrapada and uh, Pura Pura Badrapada, Uttar Badrapada, because it's the funeral court. Pura Falguni, Uttar Falguni, because it's the bed. Maga, because it's the chair. So these chitras are connected with furniture. Very interesting. Uh, and they yeah, exactly have a plane. <laughs> exactly that. Exactly that. So furniture in general. So fix your furniture. It's very good. Uh, don't keep any broken furniture in your home. Uh, you know, especially with these planets. Maga with the maga with the, with the chair, Pura Falguni, Uttara Falguni, the bed, and uh, Pura Badrapada. I connected with stool. You know that stool. Oh, nice stool. Yeah, that's true. That yeah, it's like a pedestal where you because yeah, what yeah. is the matra pada? You have to get over. You have to see what is beyond that. So you have to get over it, step yeah. over it, and then see. And what is purva matra pada? Aja eka pad one foot, correct? Yeah. So that stool yeah. really in the stool, you can see that the leg is really very long, and then you have a high raised platform. Yeah. So the stool uh, is really uh, connected with purva yeah. matra. That makes sense. Perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I'll say with Pura Falguni, one more thing I would say is like uh, that of um, keeping a fire, fireplace. It's very helpful. Uh, keeping some kind of fire going, that's very helpful. Uh, other thing with Pura Falguni also, uh, people put hair or growing their hair, they'll just, so just try it and dye on your hair or something like that. <laughs> you know, why is that? Why is that? Because it's reddish, right? Pura Falguni or reddish. Leo already they are growing hair, that, you know, so you can try it. Oh. Right? Or something what happens, you know, things like that. You know, uh, yeah, that's a crazy thing. Oh, lions but Pura Fulgini, I'm saying, lions mean, yeah, yeah. Pura Fulgini, that's what is coming. Uh, work in teams, that's the Pura Fulgini thing. I would say, work in teams. Don't know to go into a open relationship. Not to go into a relationship. That's a Fulgini team, I would say. Don't uh, be lazy. Yeah. <laughs> lazy, yeah. Don't be lazy, yeah. Don't, don't sleep yeah. too much on your bed. <laughs> Yeah, don't sit too much on the bed. Do something on the bed also. Make your bed time a few times. That's the easiest for all the things I would say. Uh, yeah. And then uh, Uttara Falguni. What do you have to say, Aditya? Similar things. Uh, Uttara Falguni. The bull is a symbol, correct? So Uttara Falguni. It's also a very stirra nakshatra. So Uttara Falguni is also, and it's in the following the Virgo Rashi. So I will say mostly connected with documents, legal documents, paper, right? By all those things because documents is always connected with uh, Uttara Falguni contracts. Themes, right. of all those things you can do. Right, Back, contract, contracts basically. Yeah, signing a contract, signing a deal. Therefore, I would say like uh, you know, there are this grafting. You can graft one plant over the other plant. That's Uttar Pradesh remedy. Uh, look for deals, <laughs> bundle deals. <laughs> you know, as Uttar Pradesh remedy. Uh, so keep it, make you know, save money. Yeah, marriage, marriage things, right? Yeah, marriage. So help out marriage and help out friends' marriage. Help out marriages, Falguni for sure. Uh, I think Uttar Falguni, yeah. money through marriage. So yeah, money through marriage for sure. Yeah, yeah. I get married if you have Falguni. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I have what seen this with uh, laid, laid, many ladies I have seen on you know, Uttar Falguni, they have ascendant or moon and family where they marry is like... For ten yeah. generations, they don't have to walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I have yeah. seen this time and again. What about uh, Hasta? 
Asta e să conecte with oppose, uh, Savitu, so some, uh, some, some certain related to sun mantras, hand related activities, yeah. Reiki, palmistry, this yeah. all kind of uh, Hasta Nakshatra. And yeah. uh, something related to satirical, co- co- com- comical. Comedy, you know? yeah, comedy, yeah. It's also Hasta. So, so Hasta again, uh, comedy, watch comedy movies, laugh a lot. Uh, I would say um, Hasta again, uh, wash your hands with copper vessel or silver vessel water. It's a simple thing. Uh, like um, you are getting sun and moon with that. Uh, other thing is like um, uh, Hasta is again uh, chanting the Gayatri Mantra. Very powerful. powerful Hasta. Do anything with five. Anything with five is also Hasta. So very simple thing. Uh, you can do things five times and that will activate Hasta also. Yeah. Then comes what about uh, Chitra? Chitra is beautiful picture, of course. Yeah. And Chitra is beautiful picture. And then uh, what is who is the Lord of Chitra? Chitra is also this one, Vishwakarma. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Sculpting. It can be body sculpting uh, or it can be any sculpting activities can be done in Chitra. Yeah. And of course, tiger and all that you are taking pictures, uh, drawing. Tiger, tiger yeah. pictures. <laughs> you are talking. It's it's great that you picked the tiger picture of Chitra Nakshatra for that. I don't know whether it was on purpose or just it came to you. <laughs> and for yeah, Chitra, I have seen like uh, one of my friend. His moon is in Chitra. And he used to tell me that uh, his mother's name, uh, his mother was a principal. I mean, she still is. And everybody used to call her Tiger Lady. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, one day Moon was in Chitra and I had visited one place. And now I remember it was a Nursing Dev's temple, you know, that lion and that man, this thing is coming out. And another day I went to one place when Moon was in Chitra and there was a boy who came and he was wearing a t-shirt with a lion like very unique yeah. it was right. so like yes this is working <laughs> i would say uh pictures be careful of the pictures you delete pictures of your phone does the actual chitra memory believe it or not you see you delete pictures of your phone you'll see changes happening you have whatsapp images nowadays you know you might actually delete pictures and see what happens it's a simple thing but you can try it and see uh, another hey, thing with pictures. Can uh, you which, repeat? Can you repeat kindly? So you have pictures, right? You have pictures on your phone. Ten thousand yeah. pictures. Okay. That's an actual chitra thing, right? You have pictures in your home, your phone. You can delete them, see what happens. So your chitra energy is kind of improved, right? Because no pictures in your phone. So uh, okay. I'm just saying, you can try that. You know, you can see what happens with that. I've seen that happening sometimes. Uh, sometimes I've seen with Chitra, they have the ability to manifest, so they can they have to see a picture and then they can bring that vision board. You know, picky pictures in uh, in front of you that will actually manifest for you if you keep at looking at pictures. It's a Chitra thing. Uh, yeah, I think we are more than 20 minutes now, Babaji. I think we we are. I think we can we say and I'll it. put it in two parts. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll finish then, right? Okay. Yeah, we can finish. Yeah.